Okay, so welcome back. And today we're going to do the same thing. And now it's just getting a little bit more complicated. But again, as long as you remember the distributive property and then add, you know, combine like terms and simplify, uh, simplify, you'll you'll be fine. But again, this is where you want to make sure you know the pattern, right? And you and those special products, memorize them because you'll see things like this and you'll know what to do. Okay, practice. Practice, practice. Practice makes improvement. Okay, so, oops, wrong one. Okay, so this first one, again, I'm just gonna use the distributive property. So I'm gonna distribute the x across these two. So that's going to give me what? It's gonna give me x squared minus, because there's a plus, a plus and a minus, so that's going to give me a subtraction. So that's going to be 3 times x, 3x. And now I'm going to do five, the bottom, so I'm going to distribute the 5 now across both of them. So this is going to give me a plus uh, 5x minus uh, 15, right? Because I'm just doing 3 times 5. Now notice the middle term, what happens here? It's going to be x squared, what do I get? Plus 5x, because I just subtract these two, or I added the negative 3 and the, and the 5. Oops, I don't get a 5, I get a 2. Okay, minus 15, and I'm done. So remember, you add the coefficients, right? So you add these, you get positive 2. So remember, it's a plus b, right? So it makes sense. Now what about this one? Now the only thing is now you've got a 4 and a 2 in front. But again, all you do is use the distributive property and combine like terms and simplify. That's all you have to do. Okay? Okay. So now, we're going to distribute the 4x to the 2x and the 4x to the negative 3. And so we get 4x times 2x. And then we get what? Minus, because we've got a plus and a, and a subtraction here, so that's going to be minus 4x times 3. Okay. And now we're going to distribute the 5 across both of them. So we get plus 5 times 2x. And then we get minus 5 times 3. Or if you want to do 5 times negative 3, a plus 5 times negative 3, right? You could do that as well. Okay, now we're going to simplify. So again, 2 times 4 is 8, x times x is x squared, minus 4 times 3 is 12, and we get an x, and then here we get a 5 times 2, which is 10, x, and then we get a minus 15, and so now we're going to combine like terms. And so we get... 8x squared minus 2x, right? The 12, negative 12 and the 10 gives negative 2x minus 15. And that's our final answer. Okay? And notice this here gives us 4 times negative, excuse me, 4 times 2, right? AC. And this is what? These two, the product of these two, right? Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, the product of these two and the product of these two, right? So the inside and the outside, okay? And then the last one is just the product of the last, okay? This is the product of the first. The middle term is the, the sum of the product the products, right? So the sum of the products of the outside and the inside and 
then we get the products of the, of the uh, last. So again, one way of, uh, that you might have heard this referred to is this is also called the FOIL method. I just call it the dis, dis, uh, the, using the distributive property twice because that's really what you're doing. But remember, this is FOIL. This is an acronym for first, outside, oops, inside, and last. Okay? Okay, that's it. See you next time.